Welcome back guys, some new updates for ROG Ally are available now. These updates range from Armory Crate, GPU Driver and BIOS. I'll kick things off with Armory Crate update. This update was released a week ago. Chances are you have already installed it on your ROG Ally. This is the update log. Minor bug fix resolved an issue where Armory Crate SE would freeze when adding games manually. In order to download the update, just open Armory Crate SE app from the task manager. Now click on update center. First you need to click on content, update center. Check for updates. I have already updated Army Crate SEF current version 1.4.11.0. An update for AI noise cancellation audio software is available. Now I'll show you how to add a game manually to Army Crate. Just click on game library, click on add. From here just select the game that you want to add to Army Crate. I'll just select Red Dead Redemption 2, there it is. You can even add apps to Army Crate. Entirely up to you. There you go. BIOS version 337 was released today through Army Crate SE app. For me, it's not showing up in the application, so I'll be downloading it manually. This is the update log. Bug fix. Fix the bug if user turns off the sound effect of startup video. The sound effect will be set to default, turning on after updating BIOS. Okay, so we need to head to ROG SS UK website in order to download the BIOS. Just click on this link. This is the website. Scroll down. From this drop down bar, select RC71L BIOS version 337. Click on the download button. I have already downloaded it. There it is. Download section. Execute the BIOS update exe file. English OK. Next, make sure the charger is plugged in. Install. Restart Ally. We are in the BIOS, just tap on Yes. Process started. Process complete, tap on OK. Ally should restart now. Shut down. Access BIOS by pressing and holding the power key and minus key. I am in the BIOS now. Show you the BIOS version 337. Now just access advanced mode by pressing the Y button. Press R1 key. Access the advanced tab. Scroll down to the end. Expand animation post logo configuration. Animation post logo audio. It is set to enable. I had set it to disable before updating the BIOS. After updating the BIOS. It was set to enable, disabled. Need to save my settings, just press the double square button. OK. And I should restart. No audio for the opening video. I hope it stays the same way after updating to the next BIOS version. Next we have the official Asus GPU driver update. Two bug fixes, fix game launch issue when using Vulkan as graphics setting, fix crisis 3 remastered game launch issue. Unfortunately, official Asus GPU driver still does not support AFMF, that is AMD's driver level implementation of frame generation, works with all DirectX 11 and 12 games. According to Asus, it's going to take some time to get the Z1 Extreme version of the driver verified by AMD. There is another way to get AFMF working on your ROG LA. You can manually install the latest stable GPU driver from AMD, the GPU driver for Ryzen 7 7840U processor. Z1 Extreme processor is just Ryzen 7840U processor with AI course disabled. I have already shown the process of installing and uninstalling AMD GPU drivers on Ally. We'll drop the video link in the description. Do not worry if anything goes wrong. You can always roll back to the official Asus GPU driver. With the latest AMD GPU drivers, you'll be getting access to the latest features like AFMF, support for newly launched games, bug fixes. My experience with the AMD GPU driver on Ally has been very good, stable. Now for the purpose of this video, I switched back to official Asus GPU driver, the previous one. This version 31.0.22023.6003, I'll just send Crisis 3, Epic Games version of the game. It should crash at startup, launch, crashed. 
So now I'll just update to the latest ASUS GPU driver. Click on this link, direct download link. You can download the driver from ASUS website as well. Driver is being downloaded. This is the website. I'll give its link in the description. Under graphics section, you'll find the latest GPU driver. There it is. Version 31.0.220.23.8001. Just to be clear, in terms of bug fixes, the official ASUS GPU drivers are outdated as compared to the latest AMD GPU drivers. Update has been downloaded. Open the downloads directory. There is the exe file that I just downloaded. Execute it. Click on OK. Next, I accept. Install. Check the current version. Wait for the installation process to complete. Display will black out during the installation process. Do not worry, it's a normal procedure. Installation complete. Need to restart LI. You may be required to update AMD's adrenaline software. Just click on the Windows icon here in the taskbar. It will open up Microsoft Store. Then click on Library. Wait for the apps to load up. Look for AMD Radeon software. Here you'll see the option to update if an update is available. Just update the software then click on Open. It opened up. Current version 23.20.23.08 Released on 6 February 2024. Let's look for AFMF. Go to graphics. Yeah, it's not available. So if you want to use AFMF on your ROG Ally, just download the latest stable GPU drive from AMD. And that's it. Now that we have updated our GPU driver, let's run Crisis 3 Remastered and see whether it launches or not. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. Run the game using 25 watts manual profile. Okay, need to sign into my Epic Games account. Enable RSA. Resolution set to 720p. CPU boost disabled. Launch the game. Alright, we are in. <laughs> Latest GPU driver work. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. I'll open header and settings for the game. Achieved with CryEngine. Enable FreeSync. RSA enabled. VSync enabled. anti lag setting enabled. No FMF. In game settings. Base resolution set to 720p. Upscale to Full HD via RSA. anti lagging set to FXA. Texture resolution set to high. I'll set the system spec to high. Start the game. VRN game is running off an SD card. Graphics look stunning. Can't believe this game used to run on a PlayStation 3. It's that old. I'll do a detailed performance analysis video for this game in another video. Different levels need to be tested. Here we are getting around 46 FPS, hitting the GPU bottleneck. <laughs> APU is drawing almost 25 watts of power. Total power draw is around 35 watts. You should be getting a playtime of around 2 hours on a full battery. Estimated playtime 52 minutes. Remaining battery percentage 81. Game is running smoothly. Good to see Crisis 3 playable on ROG Ally using the official ASUS GPU driver. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.